Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome to another whiteboard series. Today we're going to talk about three ways in which we get infinite return on our investments. Infinite returns on our infinite returns is the ultimate goal for any investor. And before we get started on our whiteboard, infinite ROI let's refresh on what ROI is. ROI is your return on investment that equals how much the profit is divided by how much money you had to put down to make this happen. So let's just call it our deposit. Very simple example we're going to start with is let's say you are buying a product for a thousand dollars and your profit is your profit is $100 and you had to put down $1,000 for this, okay? You multiply that by 100. So up here, I'm going to put that as well. 100 equals ROI. You multiply by 100 and you get 10%. So that would be your ROI. Now, how do we make it an infinite ROI? That's the question. Infinite ROI is how do I make $100? without having to put this money down? What if I had to put $0 down to make 100? That would give us infinite ROI. So simple enough example, right? Now, how do we make it happen? Let's say you want to buy something on Amazon and you know you can resell it and make another $100 on it, but you don't have the money to put down to purchase the product. So you ask your mom, hey mom, can I borrow a thousand dollars and I will split this hundred dollars with you and I know I can have this happen in a week. So what does that math look like? Now for you, uh, let's start with your mom. For your mom, she had to put a thousand dollars down. She's going to make fifty dollars, making her ROI five percent. Okay. Maybe this happens in a week. That's still a very good ROI. Maybe two weeks. That's still pretty decent as well. Now your ROI, you also make $50. You put $0 down because your mom paid for it. You multiply that by 100. That's infinite. This is a very simple example of how we want to be as investors and what we want to achieve. Now, example number one, simple enough, we can all do it. Now, this is a little more challenging because example number two, comes to real estate. All right, so how do we do it in real estate? This is why I personally believe real estate is the most powerful vehicle because we're able to leverage. We don't have to go to our mom for the money. We can go to the bank, all right? So simple, very simple example again. This is, we're gonna use refinancing as a way to have no money invested. All right, so we find a property Okay, it's valued at $250,000 uh, and you buy it for $200,000. All right, so the bank is going to ask you to put 20% down. Your deposit is 40K. Um, so you buy it, 200K. Your, uh, your down payment was $40,000. And right now, it doesn't matter really... The, for, for the sake of this example, it doesn't matter how much the income generates. So this is X. Um, now, once you purchase the property, you let it season for six months or so, you go back to the bank and you say, hey, bank, I want to refinance my house. And it's valued at 250000 Okay, I mean, this may take time for it to raise to 250 k or you bought it with $50,000 in equity, right? Because the value is two fifty. You bought it for 200. So, hey bank, $250,000 house, can I get a refinance on this? It's called a cash out refinance. The bank says, okay, we will give you 80% of the value of the house. This is called the LTV, loan to value ratio. Okay, I'm in a separate video, we'll talk about that. But you multiply this by 0.8, this gives you $200,000. Guess what? You bought the house for $200,000. You had to put 400,000. I mean, you've had to put 40k down. 
Now the bank's giving you a full 200K. That means you no longer have any money in the property. All right. So now any dollar that you make from this property is infinite ROI. Even if it's a dollar, even if you're making a dollar a month, you had zero dollars invested. That's infinite. Now, most likely a house that's $250,000, maybe you'll make $2,000 a month. Uh, 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 what's it called? Two, $2,000 a year. Still good money, right? You have no risk in this house. This is why real estate is so powerful. You have zero risk because you have no dollars in it. Even if you defaulted, the bank takes your house back. Hey, guess what? I didn't put any money in there. It might hurt your credit, but you lose nothing. All right. That's a very simple example. So how do we increase the value of our property? There is multiple ways. Uh, over time, appreciation, appreciation over time. Over time will increase the value of the property. You can go to the bank after a couple years or you renovate it. Maybe you add a kitchen, maybe you update the bathroom, a couple of these things, and voila, the value is increased. And then you go to the bank, do a cash out refinance, get all of your money back, rinse and repeat, do it again and again and again. All right. Now, the third one, okay, this, I believe, this is what I do right now, and this is with partners. If you can find deals, Okay, where you have high ROI or even infinite ROI. If you found deals like this, do you think that your mom, your cousins, your friends, people in your circle, anybody that is out there putting their money in index funds that are just generating less than 10% returns, would they want a piece of this? Yeah, I would think so. So they put down the money let's go back to our previous example uh of 200 200 dollars right the, the house costs 200k and it costs you 40k to put down instead of you putting down the 40k a partner comes in they put down the 40k you do this whole process over again giving your partner infinite returns they get their money back what's the chances that they're going to keep doing this with you that's right. They're going to keep doing it. So you have infinite returns. They get infinite returns. Or maybe it's just, you know, 25 plus percent ROI. They want half of that too. All right. So partnership is one of the greatest ways to get infinite ROIs. Now, how do you get your partners? You need to learn how to analyze deals. And this is what we're going to do in another video. Make sure you find my video that's on the whiteboard that's analyzing deals. We're going to go over how to analyze a deal. And if you have the willpower, if you're willing to learn and to study how to analyze deals and put in energy and time and do this, people have money. People that have money don't want to go out and do this and learn this. What they want to do is invested somewhere they want their money to make money for them you as the partner that's going to be doing all the work you don't need to put any of the money down you become the managing partner and you bring in a money partner money partners they just want their money to bring more money back that returns higher than wherever they have their money right now so whether it's in their 401k whether it's in their ira whether it's in a index fund, whatever it is, it's not really returning anything that's uh, over 10%. So if you can find a deal that can bring them more money, you will be able to find these partners. You will find these people. But first, you must learn how to analyze deals. So that is the end. And for this whiteboard session, please join me in the next one. See you there.